vlogmas so today um i'm starting the day off quite late um but today is gonna be a errand day i need to fix my nails <laughs> all right this one is broken inside so that's painful this one the paint came off so i'm just gonna go and get a soak off and normal natural nails because my next nail appointment is the 18th of December, just before Christmas. So, so I figure I'm just going to do a natural nail until my nail appointment. I'm hoping to um, pop into Lobaton again, but... I'm going by myself, so I definitely will not be vlogging that, okay? <laughs> so that's what's on the agenda today. There's also, something important. There's also something else important that I wanted to do. I wanted to... I forget. There was something else that I'm, I'm, I need to do as well. I wanted to go and get some pillowcases. Like loads of living i'm gonna see if waterfront has loads of living um inside true words there i think it's by h&m i'm gonna have to go have a look if they do have what i'm looking for i will just go and drop the new bedding at the new house and then <clears throat> um I got the most delicious coffee capsules that I want to try from Nespresso. They sent me their Christmas capsules. I think they're far away. But I know my workload is going to pick up again soon, but it's not going to be too hectic. I shot some content pieces already this week. Um, so I'm going to do a light makeup, a light face. I will be doing eyelashes too because of got some new eyelashes from Noir Royale um, hair and these eyelashes are the most fluffiest things you've ever seen I love them so I definitely am in the mood to put those on I'm wearing my earrings today hopefully if I, if I find what I'm looking for Louis Vuitton today I can tell you a bit about these earrings as well because I've been getting some DMs about them I know a lot of our faves are wearing them on the IG streets these days um, they're getting a lot of attention they're not sold out yet at louis v thank god but i'm also looking to also get a necklace from louis vuitton as well the only issue is that louis vuitton fashion jewelry is not real gold you know it's like brass with like gold bits gold fragments and stuff like that so unless you obviously do their like fine jewelry and stuff like that but once again for fine jewelry i go to like craft and um camel dn or something you know for like actual like diamonds and stuff like that so <sighs> whatever lighten it up and fast forward this look I'm taking the Marc Jacobs um, D drops in Tantalize. I'm going to take my NARS um, Natural Radiant <laughs> Foundation. I'm taking my Too Faced Wonder Sway Concealer 
It's still going strong since I bought it in the UK last year. I thought I finished it, but turns out I didn't. So when I did this makeup look over the weekend, I actually didn't bake at all. I just powdered with my foundation powder um, everywhere except for my concealer. But as for baking, I didn't do it. Um, I'm going through baking powders right now. I don't know, like... The Chanel is just super drying, super mattifying actually, which is what you want, right? But sometimes it's not really the look that you want to go for. Um, otherwise, you definitely need to like really just spritz your face, soak your face in some fix plastics or something, just to like balance out that super matte look. But definitely that finish would come in handy during summertime. So after this step, when I've blended off my concealer, I go into my eyeshadow because I want to avoid creasing underneath my eyes. So this is my Dior um, Backstage Palette. And I just take um color. Underneath my eye area. Because really the only reason why I tend to bake is so that my under eye area doesn't um, crease. Take my Sigma E25 and just my challenge this vlogmas, I'm challenging myself to try a little harder with the makeup because I got lazy during quarantine you guys. I got lazy during this lockdown period only doing makeup for the bare minimum such as projects or campaigns or shoots that I had to do and even then it was boring to say the least so I'm gonna challenge myself to try a bit harder uh, I bought so many eyeshadow palettes this year that I didn't get to actually fully use Taking my Chanel Le Volume Revolution mascara. From what I can tell, I've done more good deeds than I've told lies. So I'm gonna take my Mac Studio Fix powder in NC47. Basically, first come, first serve, and all the attendants are full. 
so I've got to wait like 40 minutes for my turn but I decided I'm gonna have lunch first um, I already went to Louis Vuitton because I wasn't gonna risk having lunch or doing my nails and someone buys these shoes because they have been sold out for ages especially in my size unfortunately um, they had my size also my SA didn't respond to me because she's not working today so obviously she doesn't have the phone with her um, but yeah I'm going to show you what I got when I get home um, I'm at Balducci right now The, um, San Francisco. We don't have San Francisco. It's out of stock at the moment. Really? Yes. So, um, yeah. okay. Do you have pepperoni? Really? No. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'll just have the Florence then. The Florence. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's. Okay, can you put salami? Can you add salami? Like, can it be roasted, like cooked, not raw? It's the oven. We will put it in the oven with the. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And then, can I have? Can you bring honey on the side? Yeah. As a drink? Oh. Um. Do you have apple tizer or white grape tizer? Let me check. Um. So yeah. I have a little bit of social anxiety because I'm vlogging, but um, I'm in a booth by myself inside of the restaurant <laughs> on purpose so that like, I don't feel weird. Shit, but anyway. Um, yeah. I just put honey on my pizza because I love honey on anything. It's so good. Please tell me I'm not alone in doing that. It's not true They say Santa ain't coming around Trust me, I'm waiting up for you Coming down my chimney Hey, Hey, Hey guys, I'm back home and I'm exhausted. I was almost passing out in the nail salon. I just wanted to sleep because obviously I had like lunch and stuff before I went in for my appointment and um, the spa music and everything was just making me feel very sleepy okay so I know that I got a couple of DMs about these earrings um, and one or two comments um, on my previous video asking about them and how I feel about them and if they are actually worth the money <laughs> so I'll let you guys decide for yourself if they are worth it to you for me you when it comes to jewelry there is fashion well when you're talking about like luxe brands there's fashion jewelry and then there is um, fine jewelry or high jewelry fine or high jewelry is like proper stuff like it's the diamonds it's like the 24 karat gold minimum 18 karat gold um diamonds 
all of that stuff really top of the range jewelry that'll last you a lifetime fashion jewelry when it comes to brands is going to be a combination of different metals to create you know the vibe so with your wedding ring or like with my wedding ring or with my engagement from whatever i can shower with this i can it'll last me years because it's a real it's real diamonds it's real it's white gold um so but that's high jewelry that's fine jewelry this is fashion jewelry so the way my essay described it is it is um brass with gold fragments okay now and it won't tarnish but it's not encouraged to swim bathe all of those things that like don't get it wet which goes without saying i think for most jewelry anyway even though my ring is like proper jewelry i don't like when i go for my nail appointment i take it off when i am putting lotion on my body i take it off because i don't like it getting stuck in the thing i'm just i like taking care of my jewelry now this is buying into the brand the lv brand so they are expensive you can find proper nine carat gold earrings or even something that's 0.2 carats a diamond for the same price as this you know what i'm saying so you wanting this is completely a personal preference kind of thing really is up to you if you want to spend the money if you have the money go for it um they retail for right now about ten thousand six hundred rand so hey okay. i've had my eye on them for such a long time honestly like ever since melissa's wardrobe put them on was it like last year already um but i i liked how they looked but i it took a while for me to picture myself in them for them to grow on me and they have and that's why i ended up picking them up and i'm super happy and i actually want to get like different pairs of earrings like this so that i can chop and change and alternate between different earrings instead of me because i know i know i'm gonna wear this all the time like i know <laughs> so yeah i'm trying to find some other options i'm looking at gucci i'm looking at valentino for some nice options as well but whatever and then what i picked up at louis vuitton this afternoon are a pair of shoes that i have been lasting after for the longest time and they never have my size they never have them in stock they're always sold out something 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 or the other okay i'm a size 41 um in shoes uk 41 so size 8 basically so i don't know if like and this is not just luxury this is like all brands anywhere that i shop for shoes zara anyway i don't know if it's because like people like either they don't they don't source a lot of size 41s to size 8s they think women aren't a size 41 or a size 8 or there are many women it could be that there are a million women who are size 41 and the shoes always sell out <laughs> that's what i'm thinking the situation is because it just doesn't make sense to me <laughs> but finally i saw that online they had them in stock so i went there and i got them i'm so excited you guys it's just a pair of flats i love flats i'm not a i love heels too but i'm a flat girl especially during summer give me a beautiful cute dress a pair of flats the right accessories girl so you smell and these are so comfortable oh my god like honestly they are the most comfortable designer flats that i have wow yeah actually <laughs> oh 
gorge. How gorge are these? I absolutely love them. Waiting for these for ages and they had them in stock. I actually was like, let me just go to Louis Vuitton first because it could be that when I'm having lunch or while I'm doing my nails, someone goes in and buys the last pair because I didn't know how many pairs they had. Mm. They smell brand new. The lamb skin, honey. So this actually feels like you're sitting in like a sneaker. Like this is so soft. My Valentino flats are hard. Like you're walking on a plank of wood okay like i don't understand like guys they were not comf they're not comfortable you know but those were a gift so like i didn't have a say i just got them and i was like <laughs> oops i didn't try them on in the store <laughs> whatever oh let me wear them for you sorry to rock these they would have they actually matched my outfit today Look at those. I absolutely. They are so comfortable, you guys. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's sick. I love them. Class, class, class. These are my nails. What did I do? I just did jaw over my natural nails just want to give my nails a break <clears throat> that's what i did today um work wise i just already posted some campaign content on instagram and that's about it tomorrow i've got an event it's such a cool concept it looks like a cool i don't even know the full story yet but i'm um, i'm super keen to go tomorrow and find out everything there is to know about it um you'll see that on tomorrow's vlog i've put myself in a little bit of a dilemma here because i'm basically vlogging at the moment on the day editing and uploading on the same day so um it's not ideal hopefully when this weekend comes around i can play catch up and at least have some backlog vlogs for next week so that i'm not in this predicament again but we're gonna soldier around it's only day two I'm talking about soldiering on. Oh my god. Anyway, we have groceries in the car, so I'm gonna unload those and have a drink. I need a Red Bull. I need a Red Bull. I need a coffee. I need water. I need everything. Hey, hands. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm actually just finished editing it, so I just need to close it off and do an outro. And this is the outro. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you here tomorrow. Bye. Young Christmas Day will be side by side to see.